this is actually thicker than this one. I think we're good to go. Are we live? Yeah. The <laughs> chat, chat screen appeared and then disappeared. Oh. And I think we're, yeah, we're on. That's <laughs> Love it when we have a glitch to start everything. <laughs> everything off. starts with a glitch. <laughs> I think the universe started with a glitch. <laughs> with a glitch. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode nine of the In Stitches Family Crochet Party live stream. And today we are doing Christmas in July. I've got some of my uh, fancy Christmas yarns here because <laughs> I'm trying to decide which one I'm going to use to make today's little mini tutorial. A lot of you asked if we wouldn't mind doing another little mini tutorial. A couple weeks ago, we did a star just in time for Independence Day. Um, and today we thought we would do a little mini granny shell style. It's kind of in the style of a granny square. Um, Christmas stocking, she says, waving balls of yarn around. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like this. <laughs> um, it's, it's really, really simple. It's really fun and quick. And I'm going to take you guys through it. So if you want to sit and do uh, a little bit of Christmas ornament making with me today, then you're more than welcome to. You want your five and a half millimeter hook. Um, it's also known as an I or a nine in the United States. And in the UK, it's a size five, so 5.5 millimeter. Um, and you can use some Christmas yarn if you've got it, uh, any color you want. A size four medium or even a chunky size five is perfectly fine with this. And uh, scraps, you don't need very much. This was, I made a whole bunch out of the tail end of a, a pretty ball of yarn. I probably got eight to 10 of these. So you really don't need a whole lot of yarn. <laughs> You're getting a lot of compliments on your oh. adorable haircut. Okay. <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you don't wanna make one of these along with us, that's fine too. You can just put your feet up and grab whatever project you're busy working on and make sure you have a beverage. Since we're kind of celebrating Christmas in July, uh, we've got a fancy coffee. So there's nothing alcoholic in it, but it's just coffee with some yummy little marshmallows mm. on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Melted marshmallows. I probably have it so sucked to my nose good. now. Mm, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yummy. Um, we're going to jump right into this little live tutorial. Um, so if you've got your stuff ready, I'm going to just do it a little <laughs> differently, obviously, than we usually do tutorials, because I'm going to be sitting here the whole time. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. And if you've got questions, then go right ahead and ask some resources for you. So if you are, I'm going to assume that you know how to make a granny square. So this project wants to um, <laughs> make sure that you're comfortable making the granny shell stitch, which we've been talking about a lot here on the show lately. And in fact, we're not making a square today, we're making a hexagon that looks something like that. We have a super chat oh. from Yvette. Thank you, Yvette. Uh, Yvette says, uh, I made it, girl love, I was <laughs> off today. I made it, girl I made love, it. I was <laughs> off today. And we have a super chat from Rachel. Oh, hi, Rachel. Thank uh, you. In pounds. Oh, neat. <laughs> um, I love all your lives, but don't always get to make it, to, I guess. I guess. To T O O, maybe to see. Okay, it's jam the words are jammed together. Oh. The, um, Rachel doesn't always make it to see them live. Oh, is what okay. She's saying. Well, that's great. We're so glad you met. And Rachel, you guys could both make it today. That's awesome. I'm hoping you can make this along with us today. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try this tutorial live. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So, if you're familiar to making a granny hexagon <laughs> shape, so that's the six sided shape, um, that's what we're going to make to start. And it only needs to be two rows. If down the road you come back to this video and you need help, we actually have a dedicated tutorial on the granny hexagon shape that we did a while back. And Oops. Mr. and Stitches is just going to put the link in the chat feed. So and later on, we'll have it down in the description box. It's the granny hexagon. The granny hexagon. I just want to make sure I yeah. grab the right link here. Mm. I don't know mm -hmm. why it's giving me that extra space, but. Yum, yum. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> Technical fun with the Indigenous family. There we go. I got it. You got it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it keeps um, taking my highlight out. Oh, well, then. <laughs> Is just, that normal just for use, Word? <laughs> don't, don't, use the, don't use the mouse. <laughs> just use the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. You got it? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> We're so technical here. 
I got it. I got All it. Right. I'm Mr. not used to this it. computer. That's my excuse. <laughs> yeah, sure. Actually, he isn't. That's my computer. <laughs> there you go, everyone. I hope I hope that link works. Like we said, later on, we'll make sure that this is in the description box down below. So after this live stream becomes a video, we'll have all the, the pertinent links down below and you can find it in the description box. So it's the Granny Hexagon. If you need help, I'm going to walk you through it, though, today. And also, <laughs> we'll, we'll make sure we've got a link to our Christmas crochet playlist. So if any of you are starting on your Christmas gift making. I like to start making stuff long ahead. Um, so right about now is when I get going. Um, we thought we would help kickstart it <laughs> with today's little tutorial. And also uh, today's tutorial, the written pattern looks like this. Um, it's available in our Etsy shop. And this along with all the other Christmas patterns we have in our, in, up in our Etsy shop are on sale for the next couple days. So today, through to Monday, which would be July the 30th, and they're all 20% off. So if you want to do a little shopping and you want to help support our show, we really appreciate it. You can pop over to the shop, take advantage of a little Christmas in July sale, pick up a few patterns and get started on your Christmas gift making. So that said, let's get into today's tutorial. I have decided I'm going to make a giant mess, knock everything over. <laughs> I have a pretty ball of Red Heart Super Saver. This is obviously a festive mix. It's called Mistletoe. And it's red, white, and green, and it's a variegated. So it's not so much self-striping as it is a variegated, meaning that the color changes a lot quicker than a self-striping yarn. So I'm going to use this today for my little mini stocking. Yes, Mr. Sitchin. We have a super chat from oh, Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> Crystal says, hi, guys, just working on a sweater mm. and thought I would join in. Happy Friday, all. Yes, happy Friday. Everybody. And Merry Christmas in July, in July everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. We really appreciate it. <laughs> OK, so in order to start, like I said, we are aiming to be to make this shape. So this is a granny hexagon. I will pick that up and show it several times. And um, I'm going to use this variegated yarn, which you can see I've already gotten into and reballed up. If you want to make it in a solid color, they look like this. So that's a solid color mini stocking. Um, the variegated or the self-striping looks like this. I love both looks. Um, and these are really, really cute. They're just tiny. You can stick little tiny things in it like, um, I think I even have, a, oh, like a candy cane. A candy cane sits in it. You can put little tiny treats or candies or something in it if you want. They also make really cute present toppers, which is typically what I use them for. <laughs> If you want to make them a little bit bigger, so a lot of you saw this, we posted on the community tab. Um, gosh, was that yesterday or that the day was before? Like it was two days ago. Uh, ooh. It was two days ago. What's today? Today's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> was it Wednesday night? Yeah, it, it was, was Wednesday, Wednesday night. night. Yes. So <laughs> I made this, I had some spare yarn in my purse and I whipped this one up. This is actually a three row hexagon. Um, and, uh, I'm gonna quickly. And it would look like that. I want I, I wanted you to answer. Heidi asked, "What is a super chat?" So we'll go through it once. Oh. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so sorry, I'm covered. There's an though. example of one right there. Oh. We'll do two in one here. <laughs> a super chat from Carolyn. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Carolyn. <laughs> Uh, hello to you both. Thanks for sharing your talent with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you for giving us the super chat. Thanks and for the a super, super chat. chat is a way to donate directly to a YouTuber during a live stream, which is super helpful because most of that money gets directly to us. So it doesn't have to be shared all over the platform with everybody else. And it's just such a lovely, wonderful way to show some support and uh, and to say hi. You kind of get to show up in a bright color and say something and, and, and sort of stand out for a little while, which is kind of neat. Um, and if you want to try out the Super Chat option, in the bottom of the live chat feed, there's like a little gray bar and there's a dollar sign on it. Next to a smiley face. So there's the emojis icon. Yeah, the emoji icon and, and then, then the super chat yeah. icon. And we have it on good authority that that will be coming, um, becoming a little more easy to see at some point in the future. We know YouTube is constantly updating their software. Uh, but if you click on that little dollar sign, it probably takes you through a little miniature tutorial. So it says, you know, hey, do you want to do a super chat or do you want to try super chats? And then it, I think it gives you the option to um, to pay how you're comfortable paying online. So I think um, if you've got- There's a little sliding meter. There's a little sliding meter. It sort of allows you to choose how much you want to donate. And, um, 
And, and there's another example. Thank you, Karen, for another super chat. So as you, you, as you can see, uh, it's like it's like a little bit of a, a billboard. Yeah, it's or, like a little uh, bright like color. A Thank little you, bright Karen. Color we appreciate you. Up and <laughs> we're getting examples while we discuss it. It's yeah. Anyway, there's great. a little bar. You can sort of select how much. Um, and no, no super chat is too big or too small. We really appreciate them all. <laughs> um, and it gives you the opportunity to pay um, with a whole bunch of different things. I think you could do like a, I think Apple and maybe like a credit card and it's PayPal. Everything. I think it's everything. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's very nice. And Google Pay. I think if you're set up through Google Play, I think you can pay through that too, obviously, because YouTube is owned by Google. Um, but yeah, that's how a super chat works. And that's what they're uh, for. So thank you very much to everybody who's been helping us out with those. We really appreciate it. And now back to the tutorial. We are going to start with a slip knot. So the very basic beginning of a granny square or most granny shell shapes. So we're starting with a slip knot. And we're going to chain seven because we want to make a nice big ring to do most of our work into. So seven chains to begin with. <laughs> Brian says he wants to send a super chat, but he can't do it from China. Oh, but uh, we appreciate the effort. Hello in China. <laughs> and hello in China. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's the other side of the planet. That is literally the other side of the planet. <laughs> So we've got seven, so that's chain of seven. It's not too long. You wanna join to the first chain to make a ring. So put your hook through the first chain, slip stitch, and I'm sure I've got marshmallow all over myself. I'm so sorry. I have it all over my face. That's why I'm behind the camera. It's so tasty. <laughs> um, it should be big enough that you can really get your finger in there, like a, like a nice big ring. So that's gonna be the center. And I'll pick up our little hexagon demonstration. So that's the, going to be this part here. It's the center of what's going to be a hexagon. We're going to chain three to begin our first shell. A chain three at the beginning of every row counts as a double crochet. It's <clears throat> the same height as a double crochet and we're going to include it. And you're going to work two more actual double crochets into that ring. So remember we wrap once through the ring pick up a loop, you should have three loops on your hook, wrap, pull back through two, wrap, pull back through two, and that's a double crochet. Uh, we have a lot of people saying they want to give a super chat, but they are having trouble um, uh, not, not remembering passwords or, or, or not <laughs> able to do it from the UK. So I guess you want to mention other ways to support. If you, if you want to help support us, and we really appreciate it, you can also pop over to our Etsy shop. Um, and Mr. and Stitches will try and put a link. I'm going to try real to hard. Actually, I had this one uh, from the last time. So yes. Okay. Uh, we are having actually a little Christmas in July sale right now. So if you do want to support us, you can also take advantage of our little Christmas in July sale. It's 20% off all of our Christmas patterns. So thank you very much to all of you, no matter how you help and support us. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, we you. have uh, our... Tip, and we also have a little tip jar, tip on, jar our on our website. Yep. Which, um, that's, um, uses PayPal. That uses PayPal. So if you and can't remember PayPal. <laughs> you can also just share our videos with your friends. Because yeah. that is also a great help. Shares and likes and, and definitely share. That's really, really And helpful speaking of super chat, we have a super chat from ML. Thank you. Um, making the making the Victorian stitch blanket for the parish priest. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. That's and I'm glad wonderful. you're working on the I'm glad you're working on the calendar. Board. Yeah. That's, that's uh, we got next one, installment that, is coming up. Very yeah, soon that's too. The, the next video I think is going to be the installment. All right, we should have one shell so far. So that's a chain three and two double crochets worked into the big ring. If you've made a granny square, this will be very familiar. We're going to chain two for a corner space, and we're going to repeat that little shell pattern by working three double crochet <laughs> into the ring. So if you've made the double crochet um, granny square along with me, we've made a few different granny squares here on the show, but you'll probably be familiar with me saying shell, chain two, shell, shell, chain two, shell. That's what creates a corner. So a shell is three double crochet and a corner space, this little guy here, is made by chaining two in between your shells. So in order to get a six sided shape, we want to have six shells and six chain two spaces. So after your second shell, which is three double crochet, chain two more and work another shell into your ring. So you're gonna repeat the shell, chain two, shell, chain two, shell, chain two, until you've got six of each. So six shells and six chain two spaces. 
And here's a little tip. If you're working around and you find that that ring space is getting a little crowded, hold the ring and pull back on your stitches and that'll give you a little more room to continue working into. So we are aiming to make a granny hexagon shape here. Oh, I love how this is starting to look already. I look how pretty that yarn is. Oh my gosh. So that green, white, and red. I really like that. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Mr. and Stitches is grinning. So I'm, I'm reading the comments. Uh, Patricia says, hi from Alabama. Hey. Glad I caught you live. I usually miss the party, LOL. <laughs> Well, we're, we're glad you caught us live too, yeah. Patricia. And there was a really cute one here from a young girl who said she wants to give a super chat, but she doesn't have a credit card because she's 11. So I would <laughs> like to say just thank you for dropping in thank and joining much. the party yes. and saying hello because we appreciate that too. <laughs> we just love having everybody here. It's really fun. It's fun to share crochet. It was Michelle. Michelle oh. said uh, <laughs> she's only 11. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. We totally understand, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were 11 once, too. <laughs> it's really hard to get a credit card when you're 11. Yes. Very <laughs> difficult. I tried so many times. Okay, uh, I, I just got We have oh, another super oh. chat <laughs> from Yvette. Thank you, Yvette. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Yvette says, I bought 23 of your patterns last month. Oh, my gosh. Thank Woo! you so I much. I think I remember that. That was yes. during our big, our big our summer big, sale. We had a big sale at the beginning of the month. That's wonderful. So thank you so much, Yvette. We really appreciate that. We really do. It helps so much. Really, really, it does <laughs> a lot. <laughs> okay, so back to our little hexagon. You should have... And take your time. Don't feel you have to rush to keep up with me because this video will be here forever. You can always pop back and see it if you need to. Six shells. Each shell is three double crochet and each three double crochet shell is separated by two chains. So when you get all the way back around to the beginning, make sure you work your last two chains and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of our chain three. There we go. So I'm just going to pull up on my loop. I'm going to hold this up close to the camera so you guys can sort of see it. That is our little miniature hexagon. So it's a six sided granny shape. <laughs> it's got six shells and six chain two corners. And that is row one completed. <laughs> You're getting a lot of compliments on your hair. So oh. I really think we should give a shout out to uh, to my mother in law. <laughs> yeah. Yes, she's the she's the talented uh, hairdresser. Thank you, everybody. Yes, my mother-in-law is an amazing salonist, and uh, she keeps me looking half decent. So. Sassy. She so. keeps you looking <laughs> sassy. So big thank you to mom, especially as you're watching. Thanks, um, mom. <laughs> we're uh, going to begin row two. So before we start row two, we're going to slip stitch across those two double crochets that are right next to where we joined row one. So you're going to slip stitch slip stitch across the top of the two double crochets between where you are right now and that first chain two space. So slip stitch across the top, <laughs> nice and loose. You don't want to make your slip stitches very tight. And then you're going <laughs> to slip stitch directly into the chain two space. So you'll look, it'll look like that. You're pretty much ready to work out of the next space. We have another super chat oh. from Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> and uh, Crystal says, I love you and Mr. and Stitches. My friends say I'm not like you always happy uh you're my sole crocheter lol that's <laughs> really sweet thank you crystal yes us creative <laughs> folks gotta stick together <laughs> you want to know why we we always seem happy it's because we drink a ton of coffee <laughs> it's all the coffee that, and see that's the trick everyone <laughs> it's like coffee, coffee and crochet of, yeah coffee and crochet mm -hmm, yeah and, and if you throw marshmallows on top oh well that's it's just like Stand back. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> okay, so row two of the granny hexagon. We're starting from a chain two corner, and we're going to chain three to begin row two, because every row needs to begin <laughs> with a chain three. That chain three counts as a double crochet, and we're going to finish our first shell of row two in that same chain two space, that one right there, by double crocheting twice more into that new space. So two double crochet into that same space that you just chained three out of. And that is the first shell of row two. Now we wanna make corners. We wanna make more corners all the way around. So we're going to chain two, 
and work another shell into that same space before we leave it. So the first space of row two that you've worked out of is going to have shell, chain two, shell, <laughs> worked into it. Mary Mary says, no better combo than coffee and yarn. Coffee and yarn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of coffee and chocolate. Yes. Yes, Mr. and Stitches has a real sweet tooth. Yeah, I, I, I've I tried dipping yarn in the coffee. It's not, it's okay. Like, it's it's pretty good. But coffee's, uh, chocolate is better. <laughs> what about uh, crochet, uh, coffee, crochet, and, like, Netflix? Oh, yes. Hello. Oh, yes. Cro coffee, crochet, Netflix. The window's open. And the fire. The, the oh. bird's chirping. Uh, the, the fire a fire going. Yeah, I love the it. Chipmunks the chipmunks scurrying around. <laughs> Now we sound like a Disney movie. <laughs> oh my goodness, we got a wallop of a super chat oh. from Angela. Oh, thank you, Angela. Thank you, Angela. You startled <laughs> me with that pink, that big fuchsia you did, you pink color. Off. I was, I almost fell off my chair. <laughs> thank you so much, Angela. Appreciate we it. We really appreciate it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so back to our little our little mini tutorial here. I hope you guys are having fun, and if you are, please let me know. It's it's a bit of a different thing to do a live tutorial, but it's kind of neat doing a craft <laughs> along with you guys in real time. I'm oh, sure. that reminds me. Someone asked. Someone says that they're miss that they're, they're not able to catch the live streams, and they and they really want to, and they they're wondering if we're going to go back to Mondays. So if you want to just give oh, everyone a quick okay. like what our plans are. For so. This Obviously, um, we have got another. Now, how did we figure this out? We've got another. Uh, we have another a, week. So next week, no, this no. Wait, we're on Friday. This okay. is our last. <laughs> this is our last Friday live wow, stream. So this for, is the last now. Friday live stream for now. Obviously, we're going to keep you guys up to date. We'll post information um, on Twitter, on our website, on Instagram, and it. on the um, community tab. And if there's any really big change for like a whole month, we'll upload a little video just to keep everybody in the loop. Um, but this is the last Friday live stream for a while. Next Friday is the first Friday in August. So you all know what that means. It's time for the August installation of the 2018 calendar blanket. We're we'll doing the new August stitch and it's, it's fun. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that one. And then we were going to have um, our next live stream what did we say? Was it going to be next Monday? Uh, yeah, we're going to aim for Sunday or Monday Sunday night Monday. like we used to. So we haven't quite figured out whether it's going to be Sunday or Monday night immediately following next Friday's tutorial. So yeah. And then we'll be back on our regular schedule. And then, yeah, we'll be back on the schedule that a, you guys a, are familiar with. A tutorial with. Uh, slash quick tip video on, Friday. on Fridays and then our <laughs> live stream on either on a Sunday, or a Monday. Sunday slash Monday. And we might still go back and forth between the Sundays and the Mondays, depending on how everybody feels, because it does work out fairly well for us. And um, I know some of you can, <laughs> can catch us on Sunday and some of you can catch us on Monday. So... Um, so we we're are getting kind of... lots of love. Oh, good. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Granny. <laughs> okay, so we have completed the shell, chain two shell, in the first corner. This is row two's <laughs> beginning. Actually, <laughs> Janie, my mom did her hair. It wasn't me. No. It, it was my mother. <laughs> so the DNA is in the right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I've, I've tried to cut. I've done your bangs you before. My hair. I've yeah, done you, your you bangs. I've my hair yeah. before. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't bad. I was, of I, course. I was okay to go out in public. Yeah, you, we, we brought you outside that day. <laughs> okay, now we want to make a little bit of a flat edge for the side. And we're going to do this six times. So before we get to the next chain two corner to work another shell, chain two shell, we're just going to chain one for a spacer. So just chain one. That takes you to the next chain two corner from row one. And into that chain two corner, you're going to work shell, chain two, shell. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch of you that are way ahead of me already, which is perfectly fine. So shell, chain two, shell. That is the next corner space work. I'll link the uh, hexagon you video again, again if, sure. I, if anyone needs that for reference. And once you've finished shell, chain two, shell in that corner, it's the same thing that we just did. You chain one for a spacer and then move on to the next corner space from row one. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around. Every little corner space from row one gets shell, chain two, shell. And that's three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. <laughs> and if you need help, like we said, with this um, basic granny hexagon pattern, you can always pop over to the tutorial. And once this live stream is a regular video, we'll make sure all of those important links are in the description box down below. And Mr. and Stitches is doing his best to make sure that the link is available in the live chat for everybody. I'm still, I'm still being reminded um, that I I should be waxing. 
Uh, but I just want to let everyone know that I still need to go shopping for that. Yes. For the oh. wax and, kit. And, and I can't find anything with uh, a, a, a man on it so far. <laughs> I just see all these like, you know, female forms. Lovely, lovely ladies. Lovely ladies yes. on the top. I'm like, where's the guy wax? <laughs> Even though it's the exact same stuff. <laughs> I think I think your mom supports you uh, waxing. Yeah, I'm sure she would love to see that. <laughs> that would give her a good laugh. <laughs> all right, I'm just sipping along here. I'm working the shell, chain two shell in each chain two corner from row one, and then a single chain in between as I move around, and that's creating a nice sort of flat edge. And I want six sides because I'm going for that nice hexagon shape. So I've got one more shell, chain two shell to do. Uh, Crystal asked if uh, you've had a chance to work on that little purse from the Walmart uh, nope. kit. <clears throat> no, we're going to, uh, I'm going to film myself doing that. Um, yeah. And I'm going to film it properly so you guys we'll, can we'll really do a see. dedicated video. Because a lot of you asked um, that you were, you were sort of showing concern about being able to attach it to the frame. So I want to make sure that we can show you how to do that in case you have either got the kit yourself or you're trying to make one yourself. <laughs> and uh, we'll show you how to do that. So we haven't done that yet, but that is coming. I need a waxing emoji. <laughs> oh my gosh, what would that even look It'd like? It'd be a, a guy screaming. <laughs> It'd just be a guy like screaming while his, like there's just hair flying around. <laughs> <laughs> we have a super chat. Oh my gosh, thank um, you. I hope I pronounced this right. Tua? It's T-U-A. I'm going to say Tua. Tua. Sure. <laughs> Tua. Thank you, Tua. Thank you. Uh, Tua says, love your show. Can definitely say you've inspired my stash Ooh. slash pattern collection. Oh, my gosh. That's great. Thank you. We're so glad to hear it. <laughs> Jada, Jada is Excuse still me. working through her, her stash. I am. Yes. I've this tried, all I have tried all week to get her to sign this, uh, uh, this contract. Haven't I burned that? I thought I got rid of that. No, I hid it from oh. you. <laughs> So I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to forge it myself. Dude, I am I am not going to recognize that. I will get you to sign it. <laughs> Maybe while you're sleeping. You can like, you know. <laughs> sign my name in my sleep. Sign name. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Ha, 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 Once ha. you've gotten to the end of row two, remember to chain one more chain as a spacer in between the shell chain two shell of your last and the first shell chain two shell that you started with. And you can join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain three. So that joins up row two. <laughs> Just, I got my yarn on the wrong side here. All right, so that is it. That's all you have to do. That is a two row granny hexagon. And if it's a little tricky to see, I'll show it to you. I made one in white. So that's what it looks like. That's just two rows. That's all you need to do for a mini. But if you wanna make it a little bit bigger, so I'll show you the size difference. That's the mini, and that's the one that's just a little bit bigger. You can add one more row of the granny hexagon. And if you need help with that, you can check out that tutorial we did. And I did one with, a, that's the third row. I did it in a different color, just so you could see sort of the size difference and everything. Um, and that's something else you might wanna do. This is such a great scrap busting little project. Just do it multiple colors, tie one in whenever the other ball ends. It doesn't matter, these all look so cute when they're done. So once you've got your second row finished or your third row, you want to chain across, so slip stitch across to the next chain two corner. So there's two double crochets between where you are now and the chain two corner. You're just gonna slip stitch across the top of both of them, <laughs> nice and loose. Don't make them very tight. So you don't wanna tighten everything up. Slip stitch into the chain two corner. And now we're going to make this little hanger before we go any further. So we're gonna just chain 10 for a simple hanger. <laughs> crochet Master says, I am 13 and I love crocheting. I love it so much that now I go by the nickname Crochet Master. <laughs> love the videos, Jada. Thank you, Crochet Master. And uh, <laughs> uh, Granny says- That's awesome. I think that's it's either granny or gran gran I'm gonna say granny okay Jada I love you so much you haven't uh, taught this old granny things she never knew I'm all I'm old almost ancient <laughs> that's, that's awesome 
awesome. I love that. It's crochet. never it's never too late to learn something. No, never, never ever, never, 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 never. And I love that crochet spans this massive. Like I love that people of all ages can be interested in it because it's being creative. That's one of my favorite things. It's fun to sit down with a whole bunch of people who are crocheting, and they're just every single age and type of person on the planet. I just love it. <laughs> okay, so there's ten chains. So it should be look like it's roughly coming out of the top of a corner on your hexagon. Hexa hexagon. <laughs> and now you're just going to put your hook That's through that point. same chain two corner space and just slip stitch. So all you're doing is creating a little hanger, just like that. So once you've got a little granny hexagon with a chain 10 hanger, this is where the neat little magic bit comes. So I'm gonna just take my hook out here. So this is not, this is sometimes where people get a little confused. Oh, are you gonna say something? Um, no, you go ahead okay. and then I'll, I'll ask. And then you'll ask. <laughs> so you're gonna take your thumb and forefinger and put it in that same chain two corner that your little hanger's coming out of. Grab the one that's just directly across from it. So you're holding the top two corners and pinch them together. So now you've got your thumb and finger through the top two corners of your little hexagon. So I'll show you that again and I'll show it to you on one that's um, a different color. So what you basically wanna do, so ignore where my little, my little uh, string is here. You're holding it in one top corner and in the other top corner and you're just bending them together so that you're holding the two corners together. That's all you're doing. And what happens is when you press all of the little edges together, you get a little miniature stocking shape just like that. I think that is so cool. So what will end up happening is that your corner, um, the, the corner that you're pinching will have the little hanger in it. And then all we're going to do is just single crochet all the way around the outer edge. And this is the, the quick and easy part. So I'm going to put my hook back, hook back in my yarn here. <laughs> So what I wanted to ask was, um, some people are, are mentioning that they can't see the live stream. I guess they're able to click on it, but they they can't see it. Oh. So that might have to do with your internet connection. Um, that's the only thing I is can anybody, think of. Like, is, is... But uh, most people seem to be able to see it. So my, my question I want to ask you, mm -hmm. ask everyone earlier was, we've actually made a few tweaks to the uh, camera we're using. And I was wondering if the uh, people that can see us here, the video, is it does it seem clearer than the last few times? <laughs> so if you could please let us know, like if it seems clearer, like because we know the last few were a little more pixelated at times because our our internet connection is really slow. Yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> so if you can let us know, that would uh, that would help. And if you are having trouble. You can try refreshing the page. That might help. Um, yeah, bring or, it, or go out and or, Yeah, go out and, and come back in again. That might help too. Um, I know that um, they're constantly working on all of the software behind the scenes. And so sometimes it creates little glitches for those of us. Who okay, are so we're getting a lot of feedback. And most people are saying that it seems clearer. Oh, great. So that is great news. Yay. Well done, Mr. Stitches. I'm just going <laughs> to. You're going to applaud yourself? Uh -huh. I'm going to applaud myself. <laughs> I'm going to find applauding emojis. Hey, if you can't applaud yourself, you know, don't wait for I'm anybody I'm going to find <laughs> applauding emojis before anyone else finds them. Because I always get, I always get deep. You get out emoji Yeah, I always get out emoji You're, ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Oh, oh ah, somebody get I beat y'all by like a split second. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for oh, your feedback. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, everybody. That really helps us. Okay, so if you're ready to seam up your little stocking. You want to make sure that your two corners are together and you can kind of feel your thumb and forefinger through them. Pinch your little um, <laughs> granny hexagon together. And then you're going to take your hook, put it through that those two corners. So now we're going to be working through both sides of the fabric as we go around. <laughs> I would just like to thank Angela again for her Massive um, super chat. Thank you, Angela. It's still pinned at oh the top. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> really appreciate it. <laughs> we really do. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is, uh, we can dedicate this to Angela, the, the Angela, the Angela stocking. Yes, yeah, the Angela stocking. That's right. <laughs> today's video, today's stocking is dedicated to Angela. <laughs> okay. So if your hook is through the two, the little two corner spaces at the top, the same two corner spaces that uh, the one of which you're a little chained um, hanger comes out of. You're just going to single crochet 
And that's the first stitch in the seam of your little stocking. And then all you want to do is pick up. So I'm going to just pick these both up so you can see what I'm doing here. You want to pick up the tops of the stitches that sit right opposite each other. And you want to single crochet through both edges all the way around. So it's best to do three at a time. You want to make sure you get the tops of the three double crochets from the shells that are sitting back to back. And then you can just double, cro you can single crochet through that next space or the next pair of spaces. And then you want to single crochet through the next three pairs of double crochets. And then you're going to get to the bottom corner spaces, which is the heel of our little um, stocking. So you just want to single crochet through both sides held together. And like I say, take your time. I've made a billion of these, so I'm zipping along here. So Carolyn says she just refreshed her page and the image came out nice and clear. Oh, so great. that's good to know. So yeah, so anyone who is having trouble, not like maybe you can see the chat, but you can't see the video, refresh your page. Thank you, Carolyn. Or go out and then click back and on pop the video. Back in again. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so once you've single crocheted, and like I said, don't feel like you've got a rush. You can always come back to this a little bit later. Um, once you've single crocheted through each set of double crochets from the shells and each, like, and the little space in between, so the two spaces together, you get to the bottom corner spaces, which is the heel. And you've got a couple options here. You can work two or three single crochets into that, um, those two bottom spaces. So, Depending on how big it is, how tight you're crocheting, you might want to work two or three. It's entirely up to you. I just want to share this with you because we are both major camping lovers. Yes. Tammy says she's out camping for the week. She should be crocheting, but she's actually watching this instead. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. I think we have to revise our perfect scenario. So camping, yes. coffee, yes. marshmallows, crochet. A barbecue. Barbecue, like, campfire. Like, like sausage or something. Birds tweeting. Busy little chipmunks and coffee with marshmallows and live uh, live data live, streaming live, on the live phone. Live crochet streaming. <laughs> wow, this is getting complicated. We're gonna I know, but I think I'm planning like the best ever holiday. We're going to need to write this down, but <laughs> yes, that sounds great. Okay, in that bottom corner space, I've worked three single crochets. You can work two if you want. It's entirely up to you. To you, however many you feel, kind of gives you that nice little curving heel. <laughs> feeling and then all you're going to do is the same that you were doing down the first side you're going to pick up the uh you're going to single crochet the pairs uh the tops of the pairs of stitches and through the two spaces held together and then the tops of all the stitches and you're just seaming it up yeah that's all you're doing you could slip stitch these together you can single crochet them together you could even sew them together if you wanted to i like i like the single crochet because i feel like it just gives it a little more of a a little more of a finished edge all the way around and that's basically all you have to do um we're going to get to the toe section here in a moment oh i just love these these are so cute I, I tell you the first time i saw these i was seven and i had a piano teacher and around christmas she gave me one of these little granny stockings little miniature granny stocking with a little miniature candy cane stuck in it and a little miniature uh Christmas card, like a little tiny one, and she'd made all of it herself. And I'm seven, and I she told me she'd made it, and I was fascinated by it, and I took it home, and I can remember sitting in my bed that night just looking at it, and I still have it. It's in, in the box with our Christmas decorations, I think. But I, <laughs> I, I was fascinated by it. So years later, when I learned how to crochet, and then several years after that, I figured out how to make one of these. I was, all I think about her every single time I make one, so. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> okay, so the next uh, corner pair of corner spaces is the toe section. And you can do the exact same thing that you did in the heel. You can put in two, three, however many single crochets in that space just to give it a nice sort of turning. I'll probably match the three that I did in the heel section. Joan asks if you finished the rainbow blanket. Almost. I have it. I will actually, I'll go get it in a second and I'll show it to you. I haven't put the border on yet, but I finished the purple section um, and I'm going to put the border on. I still haven't picked a color. I know we were talking gold last time, but I actually don't have any more gold chunky weight yarn. So I think I'm going to have to um, either go with black or Don't say or trip white. to the store. Don't say trip to the store. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go yarn shopping. What? <laughs> Heart attack. Darn, what's <laughs> 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 Oh, 
<laughs> All right, once you've turned the corner of your toe, you've only got, um, you've got two shells sitting back to back left. So you should have three double crochet sets. So three sets of double crochets. You're just going to single crochet the tops of those three sets together. And that's uh, it. So for the latecomers, mm -hmm. um, Cynthia asks, uh, hi, Jada and Mr. Stitches, happy to be able to join you, but late to the party. Will there be a separate tutorial on this adorable item? So no, but um, you can always come back to this video and you can sort of see how we're putting it together because this video will stay up. So after it's live streamed, it will become a video. There is help. So if you need help making the actual uh, base shape, which is the granny hexagon, we have an entire tutorial on that. And we'll make sure there's a link in the description box down below. And Mr. and Stitches has been putting it in the I will, live chat. I will feed. link the tutorial again. Um, so basically you just need a granny hexagon. And then we sort of show you uh, a couple minutes back, how you can sort of put it together and then sort of stitch all the way around the outside. And also, which the, is what I'm doing um, here. You want to show the pattern oh, yeah, again because that's available and on sale. Yeah, this we weekend. wrote up. So we've got the pattern written up. It's in our Etsy shop, and this and all of our other Christmas patterns are are 20% off right now. We're having a little Christmas in July sale, um, and that sale goes to this Monday, July the 30th. Um, so 20% off our Christmas patterns just to get you started if you want to start making stuff ahead of time so you're not cramming it all in at the end like I tend to. <laughs> no matter how early I start, I always end up with one or two projects that I haven't finished yet right at the end. <laughs> all right, once you've worked your last single crochet into the last pair of double crochets, so that would be the very edge of that sort of the, the two shells that sit back to back, that's it, you're done. All you need to do is snip your yarn. You don't need very much tail, but make sure you snip enough tail. I've probably got mm, five inches there. Snip enough so that when you go to weave it in, it won't come undone. And then you just fasten off, make sure it's a nice tight little knot. Grab your yarn needle and you can weave it through the sort of that back row of the single crochet you just did. So back and forth uh, two, maybe three times if it's a little on the slippery side and it shouldn't come out. Donna says, done. yay, yarn shopping. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yarn you should shopping. see how big and, and uh, sparkly Jada's eyes get when we, <laughs> when we go yarn shopping. It's, it's, it's definitely it's, a SpongeBob it's, moment. Yeah, <laughs> I need to put my sunglasses on. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All well, come on. It's like it's like a grown up candy store, no? <laughs> Sophia says, subscribe to Jada, everyone. She's amazing. And I, I have Thank to say, Sophia. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Subscribe to Jada. She is amazing. Hey, honey. Thanks, Sophia. <laughs> that Pre appreciate it. That's also another uh, another help. Yeah, there. that's another way to help us out. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> after all that giggling and silliness, there is a little <laughs> mini granny Christmas stocking. I just love these. They're so cute. That's what it looks like in the Christmas variegated yarn. And I also did one in a solid color. That's what it looks like in a solid color. So if you're sort of trying to sort of figure out what the shape is supposed to look like, that's what it looks like. It's a little easier to see in the solid red. You start with the hexagon shape. You basically just fold it right in half and that's what gives you that cute little stocking shape. You wanna seam up the edge. So you just seam up that little edge and then around the toe, Aww. fasten off and you're all done. And you can just make so many of these so quickly once you have the pattern built into your head. We have a super chat oh. from Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. And Catherine says, what a great way to spend our time. And she's got these really awesome um, emojis in Ooh. there, uh, exclamation marks. Mr. And color says emoji envy. <laughs> yeah, I have emoji envy and uh, colorful rainbows. And she says, what a great way to spend our time. Happy crocheting, everyone. Let's see that um, rainbow blanket with an emoji. Oh, I will get uh, it. Take right care, back. all. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, you stitch this here. I'll start juggling stuff, okay. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just going to move my little, my little table out a bit because I don't want to knock it over. This blanket got pretty big. Okay, uh, Cynthia says, Jada, can you please stitch up the white hexagon yes, you made? Yes, yes. I missed how you did the stitching with the variegated. 
I will show you that. So let me just quickly get over to the corner. So once you finish your second row of your hexagon, you want to slip stitch across those two double crochets that are between you and the corner space. So slip stitch across the top of them loosely. And I'll just get that into the corner. And while you're doing that and catching up, I'll show everybody else my little blanket here. Not so little anymore. Okay, it's so. It's getting big. There's where I fastened off. There's my string. I haven't woven it in yet. And this, here we go. Purple is the last row. We've got the blue and the green and the yellow. And I just love this. Oh my gosh, it's so gigantic. It looks great. Here, let me help you. Can you help? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so there, and there's the red at the end. Can you see on yep, the screen? Yep, yep. There we go. So that's it. That's uh, two. I tried to get a couple shades of everything. So two shades of red, orange, yellow, uh, a light and a dark shade of of every color of the rainbow. So two red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and two purple. And it it didn't. I didn't care where one stopped. <laughs> I just tied in the next ball because this is just a big scrap blanket. I am absolutely in love with it. It is such a beautiful, cheerful pretty thing and it's such a fun way to use up scraps and it doesn't look like a scrap blanket i just i just love it it's very warm so i'll be enjoying this on the couch <laughs> but i haven't put my border on yet i'm thinking i'm going to do a couple rows of the shell stitch and then uh possibly finish it with a scallop because i really love working scallop stitch onto um, that basic granny shell pattern but once i decide what i'm going to do i will work on it in another live stream and i'll show you guys what i'm up to um, but yeah, there's the blanket. I will put that over here. And back to my little back to my little uh, hexagon. So for all of you who've popped in late, I'm just going to show you what to do. Once you get to the second end of the second row and you slip stitch across to the next chain two corner, you want to create the little hanger. So that's this little thing here. You want to chain 10. So a little chain 10, and then you want to slip stitch back into the same chain two corner there. So just to create that little, uh, just a little hanger. It doesn't have to be very big. It's just big enough to basically put on the edge of a tree bow or hang on a little hook. Then you take that corner, so the corner that your little hanger comes out of, and you take the other corner directly opposite it, so on the same side, and you press them together. And then you just fold the whole thing in half. And then you have that little booty shape. It's so cute. The hangers are in the right corner. And then we're just going to seam it up. So all you want to do is just single crochet across the tops of all the pairs of double crochets into the pair of spaces and then across the tops of the double crochets all the way down to the bottom corner, which will be the heel. So that's the heel right there. And let's see if I have enough yarn here to do this. So you single crochet to start through that first set of spaces. And then you just work your way down the edge. So the, the edge to the bottom. So that first corner is going to be the heel. And then you work your way across the bottom to the next corner, which is going to be the toe. And you just sort of keep single crocheting all the way around. In the corner spaces, you can work two or three single crochets into it just to get a nice curve happening. And I think I might have enough yarn here. So I'll just single crochet up the seam on this little one too. And when you're done with these, if you want to spice them up a little and you're still trying to bust through the rest of your craft supplies, you might consider adding beads or buttons or little bits of ribbon or just little things that you can sort of sew or even glue with um, fabric glue or even a bit of hot glue onto the fronts of these things just to make them a little more festive and interesting. So I've just single crocheted. So I'm just re I'm reviewing here for everybody. I've just single crocheted that down that first edge and that's both sides together because that's what's creating the seam. And now I'm at that corner space, which is also the heel. And I'm just gonna work, I might work only two single crochet into this one just so you can sort of see the difference. There's not much difference. Like I said, you can work two or three single crochet into the corner space. It's just, you wanna create a little curve for the heel. And then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna single crochet through each set of stitches and spaces all the way across to the next corner space, set of corner spaces, which is the toe.
Someone mentioned that you could add a, a little bell to the top oh, or course. to the toe. That yeah. would be that's a cute idea. That's, oh, definitely to the toe. It would look like a little elf shoe. That's yeah, a great idea. And on the toe. Mm-hmm. Oh, Someone that. asked if you could make it bigger. Yes. So <clears throat> technically, you can make a granny ML, hexagon. Can you make it larger? Say normal size. Yes. So um, this one is three rows of a hexagon, and it's a bit bigger. Technically, if you continue making a granny hexagon, so adding more rows and you still have like a hexagon going, and if it starts to kind of wiggle and warp on you a little bit, don't worry because once you fold it in half, that'll all disappear. Um, you could probably work um, a six and eight row granny hexagon. And like we say, we've got a tutorial on how to do this actual hexagon. So if you need help with further rows, we've got a tutorial for that. Um, and Mr. Instances I will post it again. Gonna post it again. Might as well. Um, you could make a quite a large granny hexagon, as many rows as you want, and then do exactly the same thing. You just fold it in half and then seam up the two sides. So the back of it, the bottom of it, and then around the edge for the toe and just leave the top part open. Um, you might want to make the hanger a little bigger. You might maybe want to make it 15 or 20 chains instead of 10, um, just to kind of keep it in proportion with the size of your stocking. But yes, you can make a granny shell stocking any size you want, just by starting with a different sized granny hexagon, uh, which is another reason I love this pattern. <laughs> I like little tiny things. So I think that's why I love the little minis, because you can whip up dozens of them you can use up your scraps they make cute little present toppers they make cute little decorations for the tree if you've got a school room full of kids um, it's fun to give them out as a little gift at the end of the year um, it's even fun to give to people at work <laughs> uh, a little continuation from cynthia's question yep. she, she says she can't see because her internet is a bit fuzzy oh. um, when you start joining are you starting in the chain space or the next set of uh slip or SC next next to it. Okay, so when you start to join, so when you've put your two corners together and you've got, you can feel your thumb and forefinger through those two corner spaces pressed together, you wanna work your first joining single crochet through the spaces. So don't worry about the chains, you're just using the space. This is a super simple pattern. So don't worry about the chains, just use the spaces and then use the tops of the actual double crochet pairs. So the pairs of double crochets as you go along until you get to the next set of spaces, just work through the space. Don't worry about the chains. And then when you get all the way around to the top of the toe, you just fasten off. I had just enough yarn there and then you can weave in your end. <laughs> it's like a little elf foot. It does, I just, it's so yeah. cute. And you know what, I would tie my little, uh, before I wove in the end, if I was gonna put that bell on, which I think is an awesome idea, just string the bell on and then weave it in, sort of knot it down and the then weave it in. The bell and the little candy cane, ding, ding, like you ding. mentioned earlier. That's so cute. I love that idea. <laughs> so we're at uh, we're at just under an hour. Oh goodness. Okay. Well, there you go. That is a <laughs> full live tutorial <laughs> with a lot of giggling. A lot of giggling. <laughs> hey, we're here to have a good time. <laughs> It's a stitch along. It's a stitch along. Yeah, this is sort of a, an actual stitch along. It's such a cute little thing. Kind of gets you started if you want to start making things up for, uh, you know, the Christmas holidays. And uh, they're just such a cute little way to use up your scraps. And that's white. <laughs> that's red. This one's purple, but I really like it. I, I kind of like all different colors, as you know. So I'll put different colors of, of I won't necessarily stick to the traditional colors. This was a really nifty um, self-striping ball of yarn that had uh, bright reds and stuff in it. I Bobby, love that. Uh, Bobby that asks, is it Red Heart? This one's Red Heart. So let me show you. Okay, so this, the one I made today, so that one, this is Red Heart Super Saver in its mistletoe. So that's a worsted weight, medium weight, size four. It's very soft, it's nice, it's acrylic. And I have two others here, which I was considering. These are both Burnett Holiday. So it's got some sparkle in it. And I made a classic granny square stocking a while ago. In fact, that pattern's in the shop and it's also on sale right now. Um, and I used the green and the white and I used red too. So the Burnett Holiday, that's the variegated. It's also called mistletoe. And this one is called the green sparkle, very appropriate. Um, so Burnett Holiday Yarns, it's also acrylic. I think the um, the little spinning bit of sparkle is rayon. What's it say here? Oh, it's metallic thread. Okay, so 98% acrylic, 2% metallic thread. And 
that's nice. That gives just a little bit of a glint um, when you've got it hanging near the Christmas lights. I think we've got some here. <laughs> and it's actually pretty soft too. And it's a, a nice fluffy medium weight yarn. So it's it, it'll make a fluffier little um, Christmas stocking. It's not like a thin, I don't need, I can't, I guess you can't really see, but this, uh, the Super Saver is nicely tightly spun. Um, it's a beautiful yarn. I really like that. It's nice, rich colors too. Um, and this is a little more fluffy because um, it's the metallic thread is kind of punctuating the regular acrylic yarn. So it makes it look a little poofy. Um, they're both beautiful. I love, I love that. There's a lot more white in that one. Um, the Red Heart's got a lot more red and, and green in it. But uh, <laughs> I love my yarn. <laughs> um, I guess if um, if I know we know that some some people have trouble finding certain types of yarn depending yes. on where they are. So we do have um, we try to link up. If you go to our website and you go to the shop page, we have links to um, Amazon, and we we're trying to um, link up the yarns that Jada them. uses yes. when we find them. Yeah. So if you go there, you might find um, something that, that you need that you can't find. Um, yeah, if you, you really are. find your yarn locally. And they ship quickly. Yeah, if, if you really can't find any yarn locally and you can get Amazon to deliver to you, then Amazon is a good source for, for Burnett and Red Heart. I, at least I have found. And Karen, they carry Karen. They also carry crochet thread from time to time. Um, I know some of you also um, in the States have had luck purchasing yarn off of um, some more yarn dedicated websites. And I always encourage you guys, um, if you think of it, to share your yarn shopping um, successes in the comment boxes. So what stores you like to go to, um, if you live in a particular area and there's an independent craft store and you really like them, for heaven's sakes, give them a shout out. Um, and if you know of anywhere online and you've purchase from them. So I like it when people can give reviews of places that they've purchased online just to make other people feel a little more comfortable um, if they've never purchased online before. So I have purchased yarn from Amazon and I can't say I'm disappointed. I, I got exactly what I said I wanted, what I ordered. It came a couple days later. It was well packaged. It wasn't all messed up. And um, so I was pretty happy with that. And I got Karen soft yarn it was sort of a um, like a big sale look for sales too every once in a while amazon or the people selling through amazon have like they're trying to get rid of stuff like they got in a flat that they don't want anymore so i stumbled onto some karen soft and that's how i picked that i think it was like two dollars a skein i was really excited <laughs> <laughs> and you got some of the thin stuff and too. i got some black crochet thread some black fashion crochet thread which was also a really great deal i think it was like two and a half or 2.99 for a, 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 an Aunt Lydia, which I, I kind of collect the size three crochet thread when I come across it because I like that thread size the most. I find it, it kind of creates, if I'm depending on what I'm using for a thread project, I like that size. So I can also string beads on it and everything. So I tend to buy that when I find it. But yes, if you guys have had luck purchasing online or purchasing at a local store, please don't hesitate to post that information so that everybody else can see it uh, because anybody who's just getting into it might not know where to go. They might be a little leery about purchasing online. And um, it's great when we can share that information with each other and help each other out. That's what a community is <laughs> all about. Uh, Lorna asks, do you have any tutorials using crochet thread? Yeah, we have a few. Um, we did this little button. So we did a crochet covered button, which I immediately turned into some jewelry. Uh, I also, you can also use it as a regular button. So if you like fancy buttons, that's a fun little project and quick too. We did, um, I don't know where it is. We did a lucky penny for a bride using very small crochet thread. So a size 10. Um, we've made a few bracelets. We've done a few things. Um, so if you go into the search bar on YouTube and you type Jada in stitches crochet thread project, then some of them will pop up because we do our best to tag everything as best we can as so that if we are can. searching it's, for something, it's tricky. <laughs> it should come up for you. Yeah. Uh, I have to read this to you because it made me laugh. Tammy says, my husband loves it when I watch your videos. Oh. It means I stop talking to him about crochet, LOL. <laughs> That's Tammy, hilarious. I think our men need to talk because... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Stitches loves it when I'm crocheting because that usually means I'm not talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you're just yammer, 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 I'm yammer, excited. yammer, yammer. <laughs> you can get up and leave the craft. This and that, this and that, this and that, this and that. <laughs> well, I think we should wrap it up. Okay. We're at a, we're at a, uh, an hour here. Well, thank you everybody for dropping by and making a little mini granny stocking with us. 
If you want to watch the replay of this um, this live stream, it'll show up as a video. We'll make sure all of the pertinent links are in the description box down below. So if you didn't quite catch it from the beginning, don't worry, you can go back and watch it. If you need help with the granny hexagon shape, we have a whole tutorial on that. And it'll um, you can sort of figure out how to, it, all you basically want to do is make a hexagon and then fold it in half and seam up the back, bottom, and the toe. Leave the top part open, add a little hanger. You can decorate them if you want. It's a great scrap project. And we have a written copy, a version of this pattern. It's in our Etsy shop and it and all of our other Christmas patterns are on sale. It's a 20% off sale Christmas in July for um, today through to Monday, July the 30th. So if you feel like supporting us, we really appreciate it. And if you want to get a head start on your Christmas craft making, then here's a little head start for you. And um, I think that is it. We'll make sure there's a playlist for all of our Christmas crochet tutorials in the description box as well. Um, get you in the mood for making things. And um, we will see you next Friday for our actual tutorial. We're going to do the next installment in the uh, calendar blanket for 2018. It'll be the August stitch. And then we will keep you guys updated on our next live stream. The next live stream, since our poll was very close, thank you so much, everybody who popped into the community tab and voted. <laughs> That's a really fun. The <laughs> granny stocking just won by a small margin. So the next live stream we do, we're going to talk about works in progress, how to motivate yourself to finish them, and what to do with ones that you're not even really sure you want to finish. So we've got a whole bunch of ideas for that speaking from lots of experience and I'm going to do a little show and tell I'll show you all the things that I've got on my craft table at the moment and I'm going to be honest I'm going to pull them all out and I'm going to show them to you so that'll be the next live stream and that is it Mr. and Stitches is going to come say goodbye I'm going to say Merry Merry Christmas, Merry in, Christmas July. in July bye <laughs> and we'll see you next week and we'll see you guys next week Bye, everyone. <laughs> Please don't hesitate to leave comments in the uh, messages section down below and say hi and make sure you share your best yarn shopping tips, your favorite stores, places online for anybody else who might need the help. We really appreciate it. And that's it. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful week. Take care. Stay cool. Have fun making your little crochet stockings. And if you want to help us out, please don't hesitate to pop over to our Etsy shop and pick up a pattern or two. All of our Christmas sale of patterns are on sale. So 25, 20, 20% 20 off. 20 off. Have a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. I think it's time for more coffee. And I'm coffee. Gonna, I'm going to put more marshmallows in it because I ended up getting most of my coffee, but not my marshmallows. And I had marshmallows stuck a little in my nose. <laughs>